Hello, this is a polyglot CFDU. Today, I like to compare three most popular translation tools: Google, Bing, and DeepL. So first, let's start talking about the Google, the most popular translation tools, and this has over a hundred languages you can choose, and uh, for each language, you can have the audio options. For example, the bonjour, you can uh, click this uh, bonjour horn and listen to the sound. And uh, people using this uh, everywhere, and uh, now the Google Translate is most representing for the automatic machine translation. Um, the problem of this one I don't like is that uh, you cannot choose the formal or informal. So let's do one example of how are you. Okay, so let's choose English to how are you. And uh, the French is Sava. Then it cannot give you this automatically by choosing comment allez-vous ou comment vas-tu. So you have to man uh, manually select that. Uh, comment ça va? Comment vas-tu? So there's uh, there's no automatic option you can select uh, formal informal. So you have to manually select this one. Um, same for the uh, German. If you change this to German. How are you? We get us in, and then you can say we get us dear. So this one always uh, give you the formal way. The you have to manually probably copy this one into this, or you can change it like this. So this uh, give you this uh, menu. Uh, option but uh, it's a limited uh, option and also you cannot change too much about this uh, individual words uh, for the uh, translate options um, so the only times i use that one just for a quick uh, translation but if you want more accurate translation i would prefer to use uh, other translation tools but uh, sometimes you maybe have language not available in other translation tools so you still want to use the Google translation okay let's talk about the second one is the Bing translate Bing translate I like this uh, the most for it has uh, two options of the French it has a regular French and the French uh, French Canada so let's do a quick test uh, for the uh, for, for the French test. So, for example, the email in the regular French is uh, actually email, but in in Canada we use a courrier. So we change this to courrier, this email. And the second test will be the parking. So in the parking in Canada, French is le stationnement, and in France, it's just using the parking. So it's an uh, anglicism in the French. Um, but I like uh, most is that uh, it has the options for the four Chinese languages. So it has the Cantonese traditional, it has the Chinese literary and Chinese simplified and Chinese uh, traditional. So let's do some uh, quick test uh, for this uh, Chinese uh, Function. Let's starting with a simple. Uh, how are you again? And by the way, we can test this uh, has a French comment vas-tu, and uh, it does not give you this option of the comment d'allez-vous. Okay, let's see the Cantonese. Nay hao ma. So this one you can you can choose uh, translate to. Nay hao ma. Ni hao ma and uh, simplified Chinese character ni hao ma and the traditional Chinese uh, character ni hao ma then it's traditional 
And the last one, this uh, literary. So this one is like a more old way uh, but this uh, didn't do a good translation. Let's try. Uh, Um, yeah, this one it, it doesn't show. It, it should show some like a more ancient way of uh, uh, saying. But this uh, uh, this is not a good, good example. Um, maybe that's uh, where are you going to? Mm, yeah, this uh, literary is still not uh, doing a good job. It we cannot see the difference between this uh, simplified. So this is the still have some, uh, actually the need some improvement for this. Uh. Okay, so the for the last one will be the, I like the most is the translation from directly from uh, uh, Chinese simplified into the Cantonese. So sometimes I have to write some uh, comments uh, in Cantonese and I don't want to write uh, um, uh, uh, from English. So I, I like this. Let's see the uh, morning. So this is uh, mor morning. Uh, it says the uh, morning. That's uh, that's probably not correct. Um, let, let's see. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. I think that's a, that's a little silly for this uh, translation. Uh, so if you if you just uh, translate uh, directly from uh, uh, chi a simplified Chinese, then you have a more accurate translation. That's why sometimes it's better to use uh, Chinese Mandarin translate into uh, directly uh, Cantonese. Uh, that's how I like this. Uh, uh, and uh, like uh, sometime more in, in, in simplified Chinese, uh, Cantonese, yeah, etc. And uh, so the, of course, this one, you can also translate uh, the uh, Chinese simplified in to the traditional. In the old way, I used to have this uh, um, uh, tradition, um, uh, a tool called the uh, GB to the big five translation tool, but sometimes you know the one Chinese char simplified character can be corresponding to two traditional or one simplified, one traditional. So that's not accurate. Actually, I found the Bing translator did a good job doing this uh, translation. So let's do some uh, quick example to test this one. So for example, mian tiao and uh, mian dui. And we can see this um, noodle, mian is translated to tra traditional, but uh, the mian dui is still keeping sim simplified. That's correct. Let's do another example of gong li and uh, li mian. And we can see that gong li, the kilometer, is uh, keep uh, simplified. That's correct. Li mian and li is translated to traditional. That's uh, that's a good good uh, translation. And if you're using that GB to big five, that uh, uh, sometimes the translating everything unnecessarily into traditional. But this uh, uh, being still not uh, perfect. So let's do another uh, test of uh, su xing. Wake up. And the uh, Suzhou okay so now we can see both um, their Su is translated into traditional actually this uh, Su thing is a uh, wrong it should be uh, a two Chinese uh, character Geng Sheng together so this uh, simplified uh, uh, to tradition traditional is still not perfect Okay, so this is the, actually I should use the Ch Chinese uh, traditional, but it's the same. The Cantonese or the Ch Chinese traditional, this, um, they're all the same, the being used in, in Hong Kong and in Taiwan, but uh, this, uh, this uh, is, is good for lots of uh, 
simplified traditional, but it still cannot find some some very tricky words, for example, like this one. Et finalement, la dernière, mais non le moins important, en fait, le meilleur DeepL.com. Il y a plusieurs avantages d'utiliser DeepL, surtout si vous avez acheté la version professionnelle. La première, um, le avantage, la particularité est que vous pouvez choisir Uh, tutoyer et vous voyez. Par exemple, uh, par exemple, uh, how are you? Alors, comment allez-vous? Uh, C'est automatique, mais avec Deep Arrow, il y a deux options. Tu peux choisir la... Avec la version professionnelle, tu peux choisir le format, format home. Informaton, ça veut dire euh, la, vous voyez et tutoyer. Um, mais tu peux aussi choisir le menu réellement. Euh, comment allez-vous? Tu peux choisir comment dans le, le Google. Mais si tu fais le plus bien le changer, c'est plus facile avec la version professionnelle pour changer tout le Uh, phrase en la formo ou voyez ou tutoyer. C'est la uh, première chose uh, également pour la autre langue uh, allemand, um, German. So, wie geht es Ihnen ou wie geht es dir? Um, j'ai utilisé, euh, j'ai commencé à utiliser le type R depuis 2018. D'abord, il y était seulement cinq langues et maintenant, il y a aussi déjà 20 langues. Euh, de, la deuxième euh, particularité, c'est que tu vas choisir un, un meilleur traduction. Um, par exemple, um, um, uh, si tu cliques uh, sur le mot, tu peux choisir à dire, innen ou euch. Um, on va changer en français. Um, ça va, vas-tu, tu vas, ça, etc. Uh, dans le Google, il est très limité la traduction seulement deux ou trois, mais avec le, euh, euh, le Deep Air, il y a beaucoup d'options. Stable, par exemple, on peut choisir le Stable, Stabilité, Site, Écurie, c'est le pour le cheval, etc. OK. Um, la troisième uh, um, uh, fonction la, ou particularité, c'est qu'on peut utiliser DeepL comme un dictionnaire avec les phrases, avec exemple. Par exemple, on peut cliquer uh, Staple, on peut regarder la traduction écrire. Um, the horse is resting in the staple. Ou le, comme un adjectif, solide. Etc. C'est un très bon dictionnaire. C'est la même chose que on peut aussi cliquer sur le um, mot en français. C'est écrit. On peut regarder la traduction écrit dans le. commence, euh, commence avec la traduction en, en français, en, euh, ensuite en anglais. Um, c'est, euh, je veux dire, le Deep Air, le meilleur traduction utile. Um, de, dans la prochaine uh, vidéo, je vais euh, 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 
créerai un vidéo pour comment utiliser cet euh, outil type R pour augmenter votre vocabulaire. Um, and finally, let's do a quick uh, recap of uh, each uh, uh, translation tools. Um, Google Translate, the most uh, popular, with uh, more, one, one, more than 100 languages, um, with uh, the audio, um, uh, limited uh, translator options, um, the Bing translation, you cannot enter the uh, the enter key, so for example, uh, ABC, you, you, you press enter, you, you, you can only press a space key, you cannot press enter key to start a new line. The good thing for me is I like uh, it has the uh, ch four Chinese uh, options, uh, simplify, traditional, Cantonese, literary, and also has two French languages. Uh, regular French and uh, uh, Canadian French and also I see some interesting language for example like a uh, two Mongolian language here. there's even uh, Tibetan language I don't speak Tibetan but uh, I wish Dalai Lama will like this uh, translation tool and last uh, not least is the Deep L the most uh, advanced even with the the free version and uh, of course if you have a professional version it would be better but with the free version you can manually choose uh, to uh, informal uh, formal and uh, you have a pull down list to choose the better translation and also add this translation to the glossary and also you can use this as a good uh, uh, a dictionary so the to to learn the this uh, uh, the the new words and uh, that concludes this uh, comparison of the three most popular translation tools uh, Google Bing Translator and DeepL. Thanks for watching.